Welcome to this video. A subscriber to the YouTube channel has observed that whilst adding a city, it's possible to press the enter key after entering a city name and the record is saved immediately. Uh, but worse, that the duplicate city message is displayed. So if I show this swiftly, if I try adding a city, I'll add Paris, and I will now hit the enter key and I get a message saying the city already exists and it cannot be added again. And the very eagle-eyed would have spotted that there was a flash of red across the screen as well. So to investigate what was happening, I decided to put a breakpoint on the point where it saves the city. And this is on, on valid submit, cities save. So let's go down and find that method. And I put a breakpoint by clicking in the uh, margin here, and then we run it again. All right, so if I now select a country again, click Add a City, and let's add Nice. And I'm now going to press the carriage return, and the code breaks at this point and I'm going to step through it using F10 and we'll see that it goes through and tries to uh, insert into uh, with a duplicate check and it comes back and if the success is zero it says right it's succeeded and it is zero so it hides the dialogue says the status changed and this is the peculiar thing it goes around the cycle again. This time it tries inserting, but it can't. So success is returned as 99. So it shows the duplicate city uh, dialog box, which is precisely what we're getting. Um, and that's not what we want at all. Um, so let's stop it and remove the uh, breakpoint. So we can see that for some reason it's going around this city save twice. And I pondered that for a long time and did a bit of searching and Google searching and so on and so forth. But I came back to the Syncfusion community forum. Now I have this as one of my favorites. Under learning and support, we've got community forum. And there is a, a blazer section. And I eventually settled on searching for this term. And the first item that came up was prevent closing dialog on enter key uh, when there is a primary button. Well, that's not quite what we're after, but I thought it was a good start. There are various others here, um, and I did have a look at some of these other ones. Um, so you can see here that you know, there is there are other points um, and there are other possible solutions. This is one that I did have a look at. I didn't get very far with the one I did did have success with though, or well, in the end, is this this item here. Um, it doesn't describe exactly the problem we've got, but it's not far off. And the solution was to have a dialog events opened event, um, and then to have a, a method that ran when the dialog was opened. So this was the this was the initial approach I took. So to do that, I need to put in the add city in the edit form that dialog events so that just says dialog events opened and there's an on open uh, method which has now got a red squiggly line because i haven't defined it yet so i'll go down and add that and this doesn't look promising at all. What it's trying to do is prevent anything getting the focus, which is slightly counterintuitive, but we'll run it and see what happens. Right, we'll add another city.
Now, this is the slightly annoying thing is that it doesn't, the focus isn't on city. I have to click in the text box, but if I then enter a city and I'm now going to press carriage return. So that still has the behavior that I'm not after in that it saves the record, um, but we didn't get the uh, duplicate cities error message. So it stopped it going around the cycle twice. I don't understand why, but it seems to work. Um, but we still have this problem. If I go to add a city, we'll see that the city name uh, field is required. So we're getting a problem with that. But I think that's an old problem. That's nothing to do with what we've just done. So let's look at the code again. And at this point, um, I thought, well, maybe what's annoying me slightly more than the saving is the fact that the uh, text box isn't getting the focus when the dialog opens. And the way we solve that is that the actual text box has got to be given a reference. So here's the text box. And it's given a reference of city name, could be anything. Uh, red squiggly, so we've got to declare it. We'll put that under the other Syncfusion declarations. Put it here. And the last bit of this is here. We say we want it to have the focus in. So we'll give that a go. Go to cities, select a country go to France, add a city, and lo and behold, the city has got the focus. So that's good. But I can still press carriage return and it still saves it. And we've still got the data validation, data annotations message being shown. So we've got a few things to still sort out. The first thing I'm going to sort out, this is all probably in the wrong the wrong sequence completely but we'll see here on add cities when I do the cities edit I've got edit cities equals new cities and I think what I need is something similar to that up here on add cities to initialize the uh, add cities collection or list and I think that's going to stop the uh, data annotations warning. Yes, let's choose Vancouver. So getting that correct. That's probably spelt incorrectly. Apologies to any Canadians. But I can now press carriage return. It saves it. But if I go to add a city again, I don't get the error message popping up here or the data validation. So that's good. Um, but we've still got the enter problem. So let's go back to the code. And I did ponder this for quite a little while. And I don't know why, but I thought that the problem was probably this on valid submit. One could imagine that that would get fired on the pressing the, the enter key. So I decided to get rid of that entirely and to replace it with a specific button. So I also decided to get rid of this section down here and replace it with some dialog buttons. That says save and on the on a click, the on, on click event is going to be city safe. 
So let's run that and see how that performs. All right, so let's go to cities. Right, I'm now going to press carriage return. Nothing, that's good. I can press tab. And click on save and it saves it. So we seem to have got rid of the data annotations message popping up. Um, and we also seem to have cured the problem uh, of the enter key working. So that's that's all good. The one thing I had also noticed down here is that I don't have a header. Um, it would be nice if that said add city rather than edit a city or anything like that. So the last part of this particular little bit of the jigsaw puzzle is on add header. We can just drop this in here. header equals add city. One more time. And we've got add city. So that all looks good. Well, we're not quite there yet. As always, we never seem to get to the end. Um, we've got two dialogues here, one for add a city and one for edit a city. Uh, and so what we've done for add a city, we need to do for edit a city. So I'll just copy and paste a lot of this stuff. Uh, we need to give it a header to make it look pretty. Better make sure we get it right though. Uh, we want to add the uh, dialogue events. Notice I'm using the same the same event, the on open. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute, or rather, I won't explain it. I'll demonstrate it. Uh, we need to give the text box a, box a name. And we need to get rid of the on valid submit. And we need to give, add the buttons at the bottom to replace the existing ones, or existing one. And that's city save edit. Probably forgotten something, um, but we'll try that. Let's try editing Leon. It's got the header. It's got city and Leon. Um, let's try and just change that. I press the carriage return. Nothing happens. And I need to save it to actually save it. So that is it. Uh, I think we have now solved the problem of the enter key uh, showing the duplicate cities uh, item. Uh, we've added the header uh, and we seem to have it behaving as we want it to behave. But a big query from me, I don't understand this thing that we've got city name twice, once in this dialogue and once in edit cities uh, twice. Um, and the event down here is referring to city name, and it doesn't seem to matter which of those two dialogues opens, it seems to work. There doesn't seem to be a clash here, um, but perhaps, you know, I shouldn't worry about that too much. Um, some you win, some you lose, perhaps that's a win. Um, anyway, 
thank you very much to the subscriber that uh, drew my attention to this problem. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, and if anybody else finds any flaws, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll see if I can work out what I've done wrong. Thank you very much.